Hello comrades, today we're going to be reviewing the SEMA AK-47. This here is the SEMA CM042. Uh, it's an airsoft AK-47. It has it's mostly mostly or all metal. Um, there's a couple places that are polymer. Uh, the hand guards and handle and uh, stock are all real wood. So yeah, let's get into it. I purchased this gun for just beneath two hundred dollars, or one hundred eighty-ish. Uh, it was on sale, so it runs just above two hundred dollars. Um, it's a SEMA, which is, it's on the pricier side for a SEMA. It, SEMA is, they're, they make good AKs, they're known for their AKs and AK variants, but they can just, they can tend to be the lower end of guns. If you want to start out, definitely recommend a SEMA, but if you really want to go into, like, better, like, guns that are going to really push the limits, then I don't know about SEMA. You might want to go up the line a little bit. When I said that SEMA was a lower end gun or airsoft company, don't get me wrong, they make really good guns. And this is by far not a bad gun whatsoever. This gun has great quality. The wood on it is really nice. You see, I'm not sure if the camera can pick this up, but it's got nice grain, it's, it's solid. It doesn't feel like it's falling apart or anything. Most of the parts on it are metal. The, dust cover is metal, the receiver is metal. The one thing that isn't metal here is the sights, but other than that, the rest of the gun is is just really good quality. Gun weighs about eight pounds, and some people may want a lighter gun to have maneuverability or just be able to carry it for longer. Uh, personally, I prefer the heavier gun. It feels more, feels like you're holding something rather than you're playing with a toy. And for the for the like historical or ac more accurate side of things, it's definitely nice to have a a gun that feels like something rather than just like a toy. From the barrel down, the rest of it is metal besides the front sight post, back sight post. Like I said, the front sight post this time is is metal. The orange tip is not. Um, as we go down, it's got a here is the. Uh, sling mount. It's not doesn't come scratched. It's just from use. It's a little wobbly, but as long as it stays on there It's all right um, There's the gas block the Wood on the gun is actually quite a nice quality. It's a little scratched here from use But it, it feels it's not gonna like chip or anything. It's it's good quality and it has a nice finish so good points for that so yeah the magazine that comes with the gun is a is a high cap uh, AK magazine. Holds 600-ish rounds. It's metal. It's nice. It's just your standard AK magazine. No big deal. Just open the top hatch. Fill the BBs. No problem. The receiver is a metal. It's a kind of a gray metal actually, which is a little strange. It'd be more accurate if the rest of it was the same black color, but that's okay. The trigger has a nice rounded trigger. It's got a wooden handle like the rest of the furniture on it. And the sling is does not come with the gun. I bought this sling by itself. The gun has between a 390 and 410-ish uh, frame feet. Not frame. $200, this gun is pretty good. There are some cheaper options for guns that are just as good. So if you were gonna, if you really want an AK-47, which is this, then this is the right one. This is the one you wanna go for if you're going for something that's fairly cheap and is gonna function. But if you don't really, it doesn't matter if you're gonna get an AK-47 or AK-74, there is a cheaper uh, model, which is the AK-74, which is, it's a little bit, it's cheaper and it has the same build quality, or I've heard, so I've heard, and it's just, I'd say, probably the better way to go. Let's go on to the firing test. 
sorry about the wind noise and it's gonna it started raining a little bit so this might be a little bit rushed down range we have five targets set up you, there's one more in the back that you can't see but there we go move the camera a little bit so we have five targets and I'm going to shoot each target um, twice on semi and then I'm gonna just kind of burst fire on each target and you can see the grouping and the rate of fire little note that my gun is low on battery so the rate of fire is going to be less than it would be if it was charged <laughs> And now for full auto. Sorry about my terrible aim. Oh, I need to wind up the magazine. That's my battery dying. Sorry that that shooting test was cut short. Uh, forgot to charge the gun's battery, so. Yeah, well, anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. A uh, little shorter, informational, hope you had got something out of it. So, yeah. Before any of you in the comments say that this is the wrong undershirt for the East German, I'm aware it's the Soviet VDV um, airborne troop shirt, but I just was too lazy to put on a different shirt. So, comment, leave a like, subscribe even. It's up to you. Uh, also, check out our Instagram. I said that last time, but link will be in the description. So, yeah, have a nice day. Auf Wiedersehen. It started raining. Come on, I'm trying to film a video. Can you not?